Hello, it's been a while since I've posted a video. I apologize for that. Um, I have been working on the transmission. Um, trying to get some things figured out on that. I am going to have to make some changes. So basically this is just an update and you'll see sort of what direction I'm going uh, with this project. I ended up changing the shaft that runs the drive wheels. I'm using one inch threaded rod and I'm going to use that to attach all the different components uh, to drive the uh, drive wheels in the transmission. So the first thing I do, I made a couple of bearing holders and that's actually welded underneath this uh, angle bracket. It's hard to see from this position and that's what holds the uh, shaft. Then I welded a one inch nut to a motorcycle brake disc and then that gets threaded on and then I have a pulley and these are just regular car pulleys and I welded a nut onto that what I'm going to do is later I'll drill holes and put a spring pin into the uh, into these to keep them from being able to spin off or to, to move. Am I using the threaded rod? It does help me um, align everything up easier. So I'm able to position the uh, different components exactly where I need them. One of the uh, potential issues that I may have is uh, slipping. So what I may do is, if I have to, I may add an extra pulley to each side so it'll be a double drive. It'll actually be two belts um, on each side and that should help. Basically I'm just going to have to try and see. Now for the uh, drive sprocket here, I was able to get a used damaged rim and take out the uh, center splines, which is actually a steel insert, and weld that to a sprocket. And that's how I slid that over the end here of, of where the, um, this is the end of the transmission for the um, scooter motor. And I'm using 520 chain, and I just welded a one inch uh, nut to the uh, sprocket on the back and then that runs through two bearings on either side and that runs two pulleys and then those two pulleys run through the belts to either side and I'm just using one pulley on each side right now one belt I'm thinking about doubling that up but first I'm going to try to change the way that I engage and disengage the, the belt in the back. I think I'm going to do it a different way. But I have the brakes set up, so the idea is on the 
handlebars on the front, you have a brake on the right, a brake on the left. If you get both brakes together, the vehicle will stop because it's using a, um, a scooter motor and transmission so it won't stall. Um, as long as the steering is in a straight line, then the tension will be on both of these pulleys, meaning there will be traction to both of the wheels in the back. But you will be able to stop in a straight line. Then the idea is if you steer to the left or to the right, you'll either be able to steer and it will release tension on one of the of one of the side of the belts and allow it to gradually steer to the left or to the right or if you turn the steering wheel and apply the brake it'll rapidly turn to the left or to the right this is the mechanism I have right now if you turn the steering wheel it will release the uh, or disengage the belt in the back Right now I'm using it from underneath and I'm thinking about getting a smaller belt, one inch smaller, and doing it the opposite, have the tensioner from the top pushing down because I'm still not getting a ton of, um, with the force that I'm using, even with this chain that I'm using, I'm not getting a lot of pressure. So I'm gonna have to, uh, to rethink that.